For it shall come to pass, saith the Lord of hosts, that I'll rain my wrath upon the disobedient, that I shall go forth through the leaders. I shall stand up in this day and this hour. It shall come to pass, saith the Lord, that even as the sun goes down from days to day, that they'll know that there'll be a fear upon those that lives wickedly and is trying to overthrow the gospel and is trying to overthrow this revival. For know that I, the Lord, shall bring forth an angel. The angels shall walk forth inside their chambers, inside their homes, on the evil. And they'll know that there's a God in heaven. For the revival of all times has begun. The freedom of this nation has sprung forth, saith the Lord, and nothing shall by any means take away from the power and the resurrection power of my word that is coming forth in this hour. Because I bring forth people, I bring forth children that shall speak my word. You shall stand before the leaders and before the presidents and before the countries and before the politicians. And you'll speak boldly, saith the Lord of hosts, and I'll stand by that word because this is the time that the axe is laid to the root of the tree. Every tree that don't bring forth good fruit will be hewn down. For my spirit shall not always strive with man. For their days are evil. For I look down upon the hearts of the individuals of the countries, and I see that America has went wrong. They've went astray. They've led, they led captivity. They've led into captivity and the things that they would not have my spirit. They would not have me to speak. They would not accept the things that I am speaking. They would not hear my reproofs. So therefore, in this hour, in this day, I shall reign. I shall rain judgments down upon the wicked. And you'll know that this is your hour for the, those, the religious leaders that prophesied lies. They have told my people that there'll be no hands of judgment, that there'll be no hands of wrath, that I'll accept anything, that all things is covered by grace. But know that grace is only extended to those that will accept the grace. But if you step outside of my grace and constantly shun and take away the word and constantly refuse to hear my counsel, know that I'll come upon you in a day that you'll think not. And I'll come upon you suddenly and your destruction shall be, be swiftly, saith the Lord of hosts. But know that I, the Lord God, sends forth I send forth a new thing in this world, in his heavens. You'll see in the heavens the, the short days that's to come upon you. You'll see a radiance. You'll see like a flame through the night, like a fire that burns in the heavens. Signs and wonders inside the heavens. Stars shall fall in the next few days, saith the Lord of hosts, to mark the days to mark the days of the coming out, to mark the days of deliverance, to mark the manifestation of the sons of God in this hour. But know that you'll see the stars fall from heaven as many signs and bright lights in the northern hemisphere, saith the Lord of hosts, shall explode with, with new wonders and wonders, and I'll even shake forth the continents. I'll shake the earth, the whole earth. There'll not be one city. There'll not be one village. There'll not be one country that I'll not shake, saith the Lord of hosts. I begin the tremors. 
I begin to volcano corruptions. And even those that criticize my word and my voice, saith the Lord about Yellowstone, but know that I, the Lord God, I am the one that controls. I am the one that moves upon the waters. I am the one that moves upon the plates of the earth. And know that I shall bring forth my word. In just a few days, you'll hear the tremoring. You'll hear the rattling of Yellowstone. And the animals shall flee. Oh, they shall run, saith the Lord, because of the atmosphere and the fear that's upon the, the animals and the fear that's upon their spirits. But know that, that the people of this world and the people of the countries, you refuse to, to take knowledge. You refuse to hear my words. But know that I shall bring you down. I shall bring forth a revival of this day and none of you shall stop the word. None of you shall stop the revival that I am bringing. I move forth and I break every chain. I break every hindrance. I stand when nothing else can stand. I'll bring back Donald Trump, saith the Lord, and none of you shall gainsay or resist. And you'll wonder how. You'll wonder how and you'll be in amazement at my power because it's impossible of that that I'm about to do. You'll know that the hands of God is upon this nation and that I'll spring forth speedily all up through Oregon, saith God, up through the mountains and all up through the hills, all through the Cascades, all up through Washington. I'll send revival to Seattle. Oh, I'll send a shaking, saith the Lord of hosts. How sin revival. But know that the oceans, the oceans is roaring, saith the Lord. The oceans are roaring. The seas are troubled. There'll come forth an event. The next little days, the next short few days, you'll hear the oceans. You'll hear them rumbling and roaring and signs and Things that's never been heard in the earth before. And giant, giant vacuumed whirlpools in the Atlantic and the Pacific sucking downward as into a open, as hell has enlarged itself. Know that I am the Lord and I'll shake everyone that breathes upon the earth saith the Lord God Almighty. I'll shake the cities. I'll shake revival. I'll bring forth a move that no one has ever seen and heard because the power of God goes forth across this land and nothing shall any means escape the power and the move of my spirit in this day. For there's never been a revival like I shall bring forth I shall shake and rattle. I'll move, saith the Lord Almighty, across Nashville. I'll move across the hills of Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'll move across Knoxville. I'll shake the valleys and I'll shake the mountains of Tennessee. Saith the Lord, I'll move down through the northern parts of Georgia and Alabama. My hands shall rope and rock, rock the lookout mountains. And all across the plains, even off through all of New Mexico and California and Texas, my hands shall move. Oh, open your eyes, saith the Lord of hosts. For this is the day, nothing shall, shall take and turn away the power that's coming forth in the hour. For Satan is desired to destroy this nation. Satan is desired to take away the freedom and the the reign of the power of my word, but I shall not cause it. I shall not let it be. My power shall stand up. My power shall stand forth. And you'll know that I am God. You'll know that I am the Lord. Oh, hear me, saith the Lord. Turn from the ways. Turn from the ways of the old harlot that spread herself on every high hill. 
come to me with, with tenderness and a, a broken spirit and a broken heart. Call on me now while you may find me, and I'll heal this land. For I shall bring forth, and nothing Satan desires to take away the very freedom and to take away the very power and to close the churches and to close the very real ministers. But know the axe is laid to the root of the trees and those that don't bring forth good fruit will be hewn down. For my eyes is upon those in the lofty. My eyes upon you false and you false prophets. My eyes is upon you. My eyes is upon you. And I see, I see your, your divination, saith the Lord of hosts. I see how that you mount up and you copy and you bring forth a soothsaying. But know that I, the Lord, shall, I shall hold you accountable all in one day, saith the Lord. For you speak and you say that I have spoke, saith the Lord, but I have not spoke to you. Neither have I sent you, but you prophesy a lie. Know that I'll deal with this, this generation of people that's lying in my name. But know that there's a power that comes forth right now, saith the Lord. I'll break the chains and I'll break the forces. I'll break the spirits of evil that spreads in the, the political arena. I'll break them. I'll bring them to their knees, saith the Lord. How cause all of you, your visions to be confusion. There'll be nothing that you put your hand to shall prosper. It'll all come to naught, saith the Lord, and you'll turn on each other. You'll turn and you'll despise each other. And the working of Satan shall spring forth in your hearts and shall bring an evil about the White House that nothing shall be able to get accomplished. For you've turned against me, saith the Lord. So now I turn against you. Repent of your sins. Repent of the evil. And I'll spare the land. And I'll spare your lives. I'll spare the evil. I'll spare the plagues. I'll spare the things that's coming upon you. For I'll bring plagues upon Washington, D.C. and other places of the country. I have gave a space for Atlanta, Georgia. I have gave a space for you to repent. I have gave a space for you leaders of Georgia to repent. You have heard my word. This word has come unto you. Because you are watching this man. You are watching this man as he prophesies and speaks the dreams. The prophets that I have sent to you, you are watching them. Know that this is the day that you'll turn to me. For surely the Lord shall shake your very soul. And you'll know that I am God. For even as I have forewarned of three whirlwinds, three tornadoes hitting the Atlanta area, All around, saith the Lord of hosts, you'll know that I'm God. For this is the day of restoration, this is the day of visitation. Doubt not in your heart that I am able, I am able to bring to pass. I'm God. And you shall see that I'll bring, I'll move, I'll move upon the families of the first family. I'll move upon the president and the first lady, Trump, and their children. I'll touch the children. I'll, I'll move upon them. I'll move upon them to endure this four more years. I'll move upon them to endure the hell that they've been put through. But I, the Lord, shall stand up for you. I, the Lord, shall stand up for you. Donald Trump, I call you, saith the Lord. I call you. I call you out from the deserts. I call you out from the mountains. Saith the Almighty, 
I call you from the destinations that's been forespoke on your life as a boy. I bring you forth in this time. I bring you forth, saith the Lord. Rise up, Donald Trump. Rise up, saith the Lord. God Almighty, this is the day. This is the day of restoration. This is the day of revival. This is the day that the power of my spirit shall rest upon you, even as the mantle of the Lord overtakes you for the hour that you're standing in. Hear me today. I put my hand upon you. I placed my hand upon your life. And I'll even cause to be. You'll hear my voice, saith the Lord of hosts. For thou art blessed. Thou art called in thy family to be the president. The president. The remaining times, and it shall bring forth a new, a new, a new move, a new presidential activation, and new laws shall be passed to reinsure the true and honesty of the election. But once again, I, the Lord, shall bring you, Donald Trump, back to the office. For the Lord Almighty has spoken.